you've mastered the basics of mini golf. Now it's time to become a pro. Maybe your golf ball has found itself in a sand trap, or maybe it's in a stone hazard. Do not hit the ball out of the hazard. Instead, pick the golf ball out of the sand or stones and place it on the green next to the hazard. Don't take your ball back to the beginning of the hole, but play it from where it went into the sand or the stones. What if your golf ball goes for a swim into a pond or a water hazard? Don't worry, the ball floats. If it's in a pond, use a ball scooper to retrieve your ball and place it next to the pond where it fell in. If it's in a water hazard, pick the ball out of the hazard and place it next to the water where it went in. Continue to play from this point. Sometimes your golf ball may leave the green. Again, pick up your ball and place it back on the green about where it went off and continue to play. Your ball might have stopped rolling, resting up against a brick. In this case, you are allowed to move the ball two club head lengths away from the brick in order to give yourself a swing. Let's talk about golf etiquette. Your golfing group should have four or less people in it to keep a steady playing pace. Adding another person to your group will add about 25 minutes per person to that round. Groups larger than four may hold up others behind them. If you are holding up a smaller group, it is courteous to step aside and let the smaller group play through. Running is not allowed on the golf course. Walk and watch your step. There are bricks and hills. Also, don't interfere with other groups playing. Wait for the group ahead of you to finish playing the hole before starting play on that hole. Once you begin playing your round, continue to play all 18 holes. Make sure to use the restroom before your round. You should not have to stop for a bathroom break or a snack. Enjoy a hot dog or some refreshing ice cream before or after you finish your round of golf. Although optional, keeping score can be a fun way to track your progress through the course. You'll notice Putnew has a scorecard for each course. If you are playing the blue course, you'll want to grab a blue scorecard. The red scorecard is for the red course. The scorecard is made up of horizontal rows and vertical columns. The rows list features of each hole. The first row is the hole number. The next row is the par. Par is the number of strokes it takes an average skilled golfer to play that hole. The third row lists hole length in feet. After these rows are blank ones, which you will fill in while playing. Each player in your group gets their own row on the scorecard. Every hole on the course has its own vertical column. This column is where you write your score for that hole along your row. In this example, Abby gets a three and Josh gets a four. After nine holes, you will add up your total score for holes one through nine. After completing your round, you will add up the totals of holes 10 through 18. Combine these two numbers to get your total score for the round. We hope you've enjoyed becoming a miniature golf expert.